Alright, so this is my first tutorial here. Um, in order to get 60 FPS in the Breath of the Wild, you're going to want to open up a game profile. So create game profile, let that disappear, and then you can click open game profile. Once that's open, you can take all of this here, and I'll put it in the description, copy it and paste it. Leave this title the same, because that's the title of your game. Sometimes it's different depending on your region. You can delete all the other text that's down here and replace it with what I'm putting in the description. Close out of that, save it, then we're going to go to Options and Graphics Packs. These are the new 1.13.0 Legacy Graphics Packs. So going into here you can actually select your resolution. I have mine set to 1440. 1080 will get you more performance. Um, at 1440 I have my resolution for shadows set to medium. You can crank that up to high if you drop your resolution down to 1080. So once that's done, you can close out of these and go back into the old graphics packs. This is going to give you the FPS++ that you want on. The LWZX crash workaround. You're going to want the NVIDIA glitch artifacts workaround. And the square torch fix. And I think that's about it. Sometimes if you want to cap it off, you can put these on. I haven't had a problem with that. I like to keep them off. Then just close out, all of those are updated, and go into CPU. Mode for me is set to single core, just because it's reliable. If you got an i7, switch it over to dual core or triple core. Um, under debug, I think this is one of the more fast speed ups here. You can go down to the custom timer, and instead of semi default, switch it down to QPC. Once you click on that, you can let this drop down disappear and go back into it and select one time speed. Then go down to MM timer and hit one millisecond instead of system default. And that should be all for the semi settings. Alright, for semi, if you want to speed it up, we're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel. Once we're in here, we can go to adjust image settings with preview and hit this here. Use the advanced 3D image settings. It should be default set to let the 3D application designed. Then we can go into manage 3D settings and go into program settings. Once this loads up, it's not going to be in here for you. Uh, go into add. If you have multiple versions of Semu, the best version is to go to browse. Find it, click on the version that you want. Mine's already in here. It'll update into this box. Then click on antiscopic anti yeah I'm sorry antiscopic filtering turn this off go into maximum pre-render frames switch this to one go down to your OpenGL rendering GPU and set that to your graphics card then power management mode switch that over to prefer maximum performance texture filtering off and switch this one over here to allow and then thread optimization you want that on and triple buffering on and that should be all for inside of your NVIDIA control panel then you can close this out and open up Semu then you can launch Breath of the Wild And here we are in game. And we should be getting between 45 to 60 FPS. And here it looks like I'm getting 59, which is pretty good. And 60.